Bill O'Reilly gave a talking points memo last night about the Supreme Court's Hobby Lobby ruling on the birth control provision of Obamacare. And to say that he has no idea what the case is actually about is the understatement of the century. So we cover a lot of O'Reilly on this show. But in all seriousness, this might be his most embarrassing rant yet because he's essentially going to make up what he doesn't know about the case. And he's so off base, it's comical. So let's listen and then we'll come back and I'll break it down for you. Traditional Americans, that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Today, the Supreme Court ruled 5-4 to four that the federal government cannot force small corporations to buy controversial birth control devices for their employees. The so-called Hobby Lobby case pitted liberal America against traditional religious America. The Obama administration wants all corporations to fund things like the morning after pill, which many religious Americans believe is an abortion-inducing medication. By the way, the national media did not report that. They continue to say the Hobby Lobby case is about birth control per se, which it is absolutely not. Anyway, the very disturbing part of the Supreme Court's opinion is that the four liberal justices apparently believe that American taxpayers should fund abortions. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Elena Kagan, Sonia Sotomayor, Stephen Breyer voted to uphold the federal mandate. That's hard to believe because religious freedom is a hallmark of the Constitution. If you sincerely believe that abortion is morally wrong, you have a right to opt out. But these four justices would deny you that right, absolutely contradicting the Constitution. He, uh, he said, well, look, the case isn't about birth control. It is about birth control. Then he brings up the morning after pill and calls it abortion inducing. It's not. Look, this is a scientific question and you're wrong. Well, plan B, that's abortion. That's an abortion pill. No, it's not. Quote, plan B is not an abortion. Emergency contraception works in one of two ways. It can either stop an egg from being released, holding it in the ovaries so that it cannot become fertilized, or if an egg has already been released from the ovaries, the pill increases mucus in the uterine lining, which slows sperm and renders it unable to fertilize an egg. It does not flush out a fertilized egg and thus cannot be considered an abortion by any definition. By any definition. This is science, okay? The morning after pill, it doesn't terminate a pregnancy. It prevents a pregnancy. He doesn't understand the science, but he doesn't care to look it up because he's Bill o fucking Riley, and he'd rather go out there and give his opinion about a topic without knowing the details and without reading. You gotta do the hard work of reading about the case before you fucking comment on it, you dipshit. What an embarrassment he is to the idea of journalism. For fuck's sake, I'm 26 years old, and I knew that before I came out here and talk about the case, I have to read about it. I have to learn about it. He didn't even bother learning about it. He just wants to go out there and have people hear his loud fucking mouth. Yap, 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 yap. Meanwhile, you're saying nothing of substance. You don't even understand the basic facts of the case, you dipshit. You don't even understand the science of the thing that's in question. Uh, it is beyond pathetic, but the most ridiculous part of all, th we haven't even gotten to the most ridiculous part of all. He said at the end, the case is about taxpayer-funded abortion. Bill, what the fuck are you talking about? This isn't at all about taxpayer-funded anything. Never mind taxpayer-funded abortion, which it's also not about. It's not about either one of those things that you claimed in one sentence he managed to be wrong twice. The case is about taxpayer-funded abortion. You're wrong twice in one sentence. How is that even fucking possible? I couldn't be that wrong about something if I tried to be that wrong about something. How do you make such a ridiculous mistake? In fact, if he bothered to read any of the articles on this, or if he bothered to read any of the decisions, even a little snippet of a decision, okay, if he bothered to do that at all, he would have realized that one of the things that the justices said is the government actually would have been allowed to, and is still allowed to, if they want to, pass a bill that says, we, the government, are going to take taxpayer dollars and fund abortions or fund contraception. They said the exact opposite of what Bill O'Reilly's point is here. 
Bill O'Reilly's pretending like this case was about taxpayer-funded abortion. No, it's about insurance companies covering contraception. By the way, insurance companies that the employees are paying premiums into the entire time. So the real question is about whether or not a business owner can get in between his employee and uh, her insurance company on the issue of contraception. Whether or not the personal beliefs of the business owner can uh, get in between a woman and her doctor. So it's so ironic when the conservatives say, well, Obama, the problem with Obamacare is that the government gets in between you and your doctor. No, but the problem with your guys' belief system on this topic is you want the business owner to get in between a woman and her doctor. So you don't mind tyrannical control from above as long as it's from a religious business owner. And by the way, you have to make sure it's the right religion. If it was a Muslim business owner, well, then all of a sudden now you're against it. But if it's a Christian business owner and it's about birth control, well, yeah, get right in between in the middle of their lives and change everything. The case has nothing to do with abortion and nothing to do with taxpayers. There's not a single issue involved in this that has to do with taxpayers. And again, the Supreme Court came out and said, look, we're going to strike this down the way it is now, the uh, birth control provision of Obamacare. But if the government wanted to, they could pass a, a bill tomorrow that said we're going to fund contraception with tax dollars. So he gets it exactly wrong. <laughs> He's pretending like the case is about taxpayer-funded abortion. It's not about taxpayer-funded anything, and it's definitely not about abortion. God, it... But see, that's the thing, man. That's the thing about these right-wingers. They don't do research. They don't care to read shit and learn facts about the situation. 